It's definitely off the beaten path and I think that is the beauty of it. When we taught people what we are going to do, they kind of said to us that we were there at the wrong season. All the diving uh, happens in summer and yeah, this, this place is right now in, in the depth of winter, it's surrounded by icicles and frozen bits and um, yeah, I think a lot of people just didn't grasp the idea that we would still be able to enjoy it even though the water uh, would have been this cold. When we first checked it out, it was it was almost unimaginable that this was a place in Switzerland. I was in awe of the beauty, even from above the water. Like the the formations of the rocks were stunning. The turquoise water and the sun had such a tropical feel to it that. Um, yeah, it's, it was almost impossible to think that it was in the midst of winter um, and the water was actually going to be really cold because it looks so nice and it actually really does look tropical, which is, I think, might also be the danger of it. It's water that really calls you. It's water that really lures you in. When I went into to the water and the sun came through, there were like a thousand tiny rainbows casted onto the rocks. So from underwater it looked so magical because you could see these rainbows scattered around on the rocks which was so stunning. It was truly, it was truly beautiful. The clarity of the water really reflects into clarity of the mind. And when, when you go under, when you dive, there is, you kind of forget anything else. Um, the water is really cold, um, which kind of starts hurting after a while. But most of the times when, I'm, when I was actually diving, that was definitely something that I totally forgot. My mind was so, I would say almost empty, it was so pure and fresh that it was not thinking about about the pain that I was feeling or I wasn't thinking about anything else and just really watching yeah, watching the light creations on and in in the water. The first day of the trip I was I was really stressed out. I have an exam coming up and I, I kind of started the trip thinking like, oh my god, what did I get myself into? Like, why did I not just take a break, get my uni stuff sorted and um, just relax for a moment? And I was, I was just kind of stressing out over, over some things that I, that I have to do and that I have to uh, remember and think and sending emails and getting stuff organised. But then, I think the moment, the moment I got into the water, that all kind of faded away. I really started to realise that I'm there, I'm present, I'm, I'm in this moment, I'm in this river and all, all the rest kind of faded away. On the last day of shooting, I think we we really truly created something pretty epic, because the first two days we really had to learn to get to know the place, to explore how the light works and how the shadows are cast, and we literally learned how the river flows. And I think that's something very important that you should keep in mind that it's not just us visiting a place and then shooting this in like a couple of hours and then like going back but there is so much behind the scenes that is not showcased in the final product. Just by spending time in nature and just by um, being present I relaxed myself in, in a way that I wasn't expecting. But 
I think I sometimes forget the second line of my motto, which is comfort the disturbed. And I think I do need to remind myself of that a bit more often, to as well comfort myself when I'm in a hectic situation. I think what we are trying to achieve is showing that these places do exist and that people should go out there and visit places that are beautiful because that, that's such a way of, of connecting. If you go visit places, you can through this see magic happen.